Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit audio in Chrome OS using amateur and professional editing tools. When I first started creating videos, I used the open source program Audacity. It's a good program to start with, but as you get more experience, you'll start to notice its limitations. Recently, I started to use Reaper. It offers a lot more features, control, and flexibility to the recording process. It's not free, but you are allowed to evaluate it for 60 days. Non-commercial licenses are only $60 and makes the program a steal at that price. This video will cover both Audacity and Reaper editing. Keep in mind that this is not an audio editing tutorial. It's just a demonstration of how audio editing can be accomplished in Chrome OS. Let's start off with Audacity. You're going to need a Chromebook that supports Linux. If you do not have Linux installed, then check out my video on how to do that. You should be seeing a card popping up if you're viewing this on your computer, but I'll also provide a link in the description. So here we have a Linux terminal, and now we want to install Audacity. Before doing that, update and upgrade the currently installed packages first. So go ahead and type sudo apt get update, and then sudo apt get upgrade. Now it's time to install Audacity. Do that by typing sudo apt get install audacity and the installation will begin. When it's done, it's time to begin editing. I previously recorded a short audio clip on my recorder. I'll use that clip as the source file I'm going to edit. Audio capture is still not supported in Linux for Chrome OS, so it's best to record your audio using an Android app or some other device. To get audio capture to work with Linux on Chrome OS, you will have to jump through some hoops. I'll discuss how to do this towards the end of the video. Now, let me copy the audio file I recorded earlier onto my Chromebook's Linux file section. I'll create a folder to save the file in and paste the audio into that folder. Now we're ready to edit, so open up Audacity from the app launcher. When Audacity is loaded, open up the audio file by clicking File, Open, I'll navigate to the folder the file is located in, double click on it to open, and you are going to be shown this message. You are asked if you want to directly work on the file or if you want Audacity to create copies of your files and work on those instead. I'm going to choose make a copy of the files. This is much safer because Audacity is a destructive audio editor. What this means is that edits made to the audio will permanently change the original file. So. If you come back to your audio file a week later and change your mind about an effect you applied, you no longer have the original file to start from. You will have to keep that effect and continue working from where you left off. So it's always good to save a copy of the original file. Reaper, which I will demonstrate later in the video, is a non-destructive editor. So any edits you make do not affect the original file. You can change, disable, or re-enable any effect you add at any point during the editing process even if you come back to the file weeks later. So now back to Audacity. So after hitting OK, we are shown the waveform of the audio file, but I'm first going to save the project. Before I begin editing, let's play back the audio file. This is a recording to demonstrate the audio editing capabilities of Chrome OS. Thank you for listening. It definitely needs some cleaning up, so I'm going to do some noise reduction, EQing, and normalization. Now I'm ready to start editing. I'll begin by doing some noise reduction on the file to reduce background noise. Next, I'm going to add normalization. And finally, I'll add a low cut filter. Now I'll save the project, and let's play back the final result. This is a recording to demonstrate the audio editing capabilities of Chrome OS. Thank you for listening. The file sounds much better, especially with the background noise reduced. Now that I'm happy with the results, I'll export it to a WAV file to use elsewhere. And I'm done. 
And that's audio editing with Audacity. You can definitely do a lot more, but this is just an example workflow for Chromebook owners. Audacity used to be my main application for audio editing. However, I recently started to use Reaper. This is because Reaper is a non-destructive editor, so I can tweak any edit at any point in time during the editing process. I was happy to find out that Reaper also has a Linux port. It's experimental, but at least it works. So let's install Reaper. Reaper is not available in the repository, so we will have to download it from its website. So open up a browser and type reaper.fm. Click the download Reaper link. Download links for Windows and Mac OS will appear, but to see the Linux downloads, click on the Linux dropdown and scroll down. For Chromebooks, there are only one of two options you should select. If you have a Chromebook with an x86 processor, then select the Linux x86 underscore 64 download. If you have one with an ARM processor, then you want to select the Linux ARCH64 download. I have an x86 processor, so I will select that download. When the download is done, I'll copy it to the Linux files area. The file is not a standard .deb installer, so it needs to be extracted first. Before we extract, we need to install the appropriate program to extract it with. Do this by opening up the terminal and type sudo apt get install xzutils. The extraction utilities are now installed, so in the terminal, navigate to the folder where the download is located. I have it in my downloads folder. And to extract, type tar-xf. This will extract the file into its own folder. You can see it here in the blue text. So go into the folder and run the installer script by typing dot forward slash install dash reaper dot sh. The installer will start and you'll be given some options. The first option is just to view some license information. Next, we have the option to run Reaper from the extracted folder instead of installing it. It's useful if you have Reaper on a flash drive and want to run it on another computer. The next option is to install Reaper directly onto your Chromebook. The last option is to add desktop integrations. Let's not worry about this now because we will be asked about this later. I want to directly install Reaper, so I will type I and enter to begin. I'm asked a location to install it to. I'm going to select my home folder, so I'll type to and enter. Here, I'm asked if I want to add desktop integrations. If I say yes, then it will add an icon for Reaper on the Chromebook's app launcher. I want this behavior, so I'll type Y and enter. Now I'm asked one last time to confirm the installation. Type Y and enter. Wait for the install to finish. And when it's done, open up Reaper from the app launcher. In the evaluation version, you will get a nag screen reminding you to buy Reaper. Just wait till the buy me button counts down and changes to still evaluating. Then click it. Here, I have an error. To fix it, we need to change the audio system to Pulse Audio. Click on the audio device button to change it. On the window that comes up, click on the audio system dropdown. You have some options here. Jack won't work at all for me. Also works, but I get bad audio performance with it. Ignore dummy audio because it will just disable sound altogether. I get the best performance with Pulse Audio, so I'll select that and click on OK. I'll maximize the main window. Now I'm ready to work on the audio. I'll insert the recording I created earlier into my project by clicking on Insert, Media File. I'll navigate to where my recording is and double click on it. We now have the audio recording loaded. Before I make any edits, I'm going to save the project. After it's saved, I'll resize the track and the mixer to get better views of them. And I'm ready to begin. I'll start the editing process by adding some noise reduction. Again, this video is only a demonstration of audio editing on Chrome OS. It is not an audio editing tutorial.
After I'm done with the noise reduction, I'll also add a noise gate. I'll add a low cut filter using the equalizer. And finally, I'll add a limiter. I'm done editing, so I'll render out the final audio. Click File, Render. I'll leave everything as is and click on the Render button. And I'm done. So we've seen editing with Reaper and Audacity. Now I'm going to show you how to record audio with Linux on Chrome OS. At the time of this recording, audio recording is not officially supported or enabled on Linux, but there is a way you can test it out. To do that, make sure all Linux apps and terminal windows are closed. Then open up a Chrome browser. Now on the keyboard, hit Control Alt T. This will bring up the Chrome OS shell. We want to first shut down the current Linux container, and to do this, type out VMC stop termina. When it's shut down, we want to restart the container with some options that will enable audio capture. Type VMC start termina dash dash enable dash audio dash capture. When you see a new prompt showing up, you are ready to start using audio capture. You can close the Chrome OS browser and ignore any messages that pop up. Let's test out recording with Audacity. Here we have Audacity open. To start recording, you have to select the audio device. If you see next to this microphone icon, there is a drop down. If you click on it, you'll see a list of audio devices. Not all will work, so you have to probably select multiple ones to see which one records. If you have a USB microphone plugged in, that will also show up here. Let me see if this one works. If I click this monitoring button, the metering of the levels should show up. It doesn't. Now let me try another audio device. And click on the monitoring button. And it works. Now I'll hit the record button to start recording a sample message. I'm done recording, so let me play it back. This is a recording using Linux on Chrome OS. So there you go. You see that audio recording is working with Audacity. Now let's try it in Reaper. I'll first warn you that I get audio issues when recording in Reaper. It might work better for you, so go ahead and try this out and let me know how it works. I prefer using my audio recorder anyway, so this isn't a feature I will use often, but I just wanted to demonstrate it to you. So I have Reaper open. I'll create a new project, insert a track to record to. Now, before we record, we must select an audio system. Click on Options. Then Preferences. Even though I get better performance using Pulse Audio, recording is not working using it. To get audio recording working, I have to switch to ALSA and then select the input and output device. Now click OK to begin the process of recording. I'll arm the track to prepare it for recording. And I'll hit the record button. Now I'll play it back. This is a recording Chrome OS. You can notice the performance issues I'm having with Reaper. Not everything I said was captured and this I hear some recording. clicks while playing Chrome back the OS. recording. Hopefully, when audio capture is fully supported, this will be fixed. You may have a better experience, so don't hesitate to try this out. So you can see that you can get a good audio editing workflow with a Chromebook. If you use Reaper, you can even use VST plugins and instruments as long as they have a Linux version available. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.